see the next example the mean of a certain normal population which is represented by mu the mean of a normal population is equal to the standard error of a sample of size 64 so it means that when sample size n is equal to 64 what happened mean and standard error are both are equal what is the standard error in the sampling sigma by root n okay so mu and sigma by root n are equal when n is equal to 64 okay find the probability that the mean of a sample of size 36 is negative so mean of the sample is uh, represented by x bar and we have to find out the x bar should be negative when n is equal to 64 sorry 36 okay this is the given statement see the solution given that population mean is equal to standard error when sample size n is equal to 64 okay so that is population mean is nothing but mu and standard error is nothing but sigma by root n in the case of normal population otherwise infinite population standard error is sigma by root n when n is equal to 64 so replace n value 64 in this one so mu is equal to sigma by root 64 it would be 8 okay what is our aim we have to find probability that the sample mean x bar is negative when given sample size n is equal to 36 okay so we know that what is the standard normal variate z x bar minus mu by sigma by root n so x bar is 0 at x bar is equal to we have only one end point at this at that end point we have to find out the z value 0 minus what is mu mu is given as sigma by 8 by what is sigma by root n sigma by root 36 it would be 6 so sigma sigma gets cancelled and this can be written as minus 6 by 8 it would be minus 3 by 4 it would be minus 0 0.75 so the required probability becomes probability of x bar is negative becomes area of z which is less than minus 0 0.75 so to complete the problem it is enough to find out the area which is less than the 0 0.75 under the normal curve already you know that this is z is equal to 0 line and z is equal to negative 0 0.75 lies left side of the z is equal to 0 if it is positive then it lies right side of z is equal to 0 so approximately you can take this this point is 0 0.75 since it is left side you can take scale as negative since it has left side you can shade this area we have to find out this area this is required area how can find out this required area from the entire left side area we can subtract this pink shade area okay from entire area if you subtract this small area you will get this one okay so area from minus 0 0.75 to 0 it can be expressed as in this way so 0 0.5 minus c so move to 0 0.7 here so this one is 0 0.7 0 0.0 0 0.1 2 3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 okay so you can move row wise 0 0.7 and uh, 5 5 is the second decimal place this one 
it would be 0 0.2734 okay 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2734 so it would be 0 0.2266 this is the required probability that probability of x bar is negative okay if anybody required statistical tables please send me a whatsapp message i will send you pdf of statistical tables thank you very much